It's a good look, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, winter all of a sudden showed up overnight. So mildly good news is that we've got some of the hot water, uh, our boiler system working. So this shop had some, uh, basically had a boiler and this thing hadn't run for like 10 years. And then got all these lines that are going down into the floor and it's got in-floor heating. So these plastic tubes have hot water in them and that's how this shop is heated. Unfortunately, when I started kind of messing with this a little bit, I ended up having a big puddle of water on the other side of this wall, hot, steamy water. So I think what happened is when people turned off the system, there wasn't glycol in the lines, it was just water. And you get down to like minus 30, that concrete gets cold, the lines are gonna crack. Where we're at is that uh, we've got the one heater in the back working. This one had a leak, so they're seeing about getting it repaired. But one good thing, one very, very, very good thing is that this room that's my wife's office, her Etsy office, we're kind of setting it up. We're gonna do a major renovation on it in the spring, but it has baseboard heaters. And those are working very well. So the boiler guys wanted me to run this full blast like for the first night to make sure it works. And I came in here and it was 80 degrees <laughs> inside. So it works fantastic. This is a great space. The one nice thing is that my wife when she's painting, she doesn't like to wear sweaters because then that gets in the way. So she usually likes to paint like a tank top. So if we can keep this like tropical here and then kind of on the whole topic of Etsy, we are getting busy now with Etsy orders. I tried taking this fan and blowing this stuff out into the shop, but it didn't actually work very well. Got boards there, got the drum sander here, boards there. And today there's supposed to be delivery of bubble wrap coming here because we go through a lot of bubble wrap I went out, opened the gate, and we've got some pretty decent snow drifts in the driveway. It is really, really winter time. Obviously we get drifting in here, so it's about a foot deep there. Not that deep everywhere else, but all down the driveway where these drifts are there. Hence, the outfit, and uh, I'm gonna jump in the Bobcat. We've got a Mondo snow blower on the Bobcat. And uh, we're gonna go clear this driveway so we can get delivery of packing supplies so we can keep everything moving some deer out this morning but uh the wind's a little too strong i don't know if i'd actually get a decent shot off i can hardly even see the end of the driveway oh there's a shovel truck and uh my wife was supposed to take our little dog in for a haircut today i'm not sure if that's gonna happen but let's see if these deer are here still there's a chance they might be I don't think they are, but we might pop up like five feet from them. All right, my battery just died, so let's try this again. Okay. They're gone. All right, so let's go fire up the Bobcat. There's a deer. I've been out here running the bobcat. Right here, I'm about, let's say I'm a good 50 yards away. And these deer just don't seem to care. Let me show you. Here. That guy right at the top there, he's got some spikes. That's fun. 
funny. That's too funny. I may have to do that once or twice again today. I think it's supposed to let up by this evening, so hopefully, hopefully I can wait till it's all done snowing and then clean everything up. Uh, Steph said the roads were like really icy, but all wheel drive. I put the winter tires on all of our vehicles last weekend, so that was good timing. And uh, I got a bunch more signs to do. I'm gonna get on that and then hopefully by this evening, the snow will subside and then I can properly clear everything away because in front of the shop is about this deep right now, but with the wind, it's just gonna keep on drifting there. So we shall get back to work inside nice and warm while it's doing that out there. I love this weather.